All right, guys, third video for today since I didn't get to put one up over the last couple of days. So April 18, 3.40 p.m. here on the East Coast. So this last one is going to be um, for today. We're going to be uh, manage your workload. So what I mean by that is that, believe it or not, we're all independent managers of ourselves. So we handle our daily activities, plan our activities to the best of our ability, and try to prepare ourselves as best as we can. Some do it better than others. Some go with the flow. Some don't. Some prepare every aspect of their life um, consistently. And you should also manage your workload. Um, you don't want to overdo yourself or overextend yourself whenever it comes to um, managing your day-to-day -day activities. Um, you need to learn how to manage yourself well. And there's a, a great book out there, and I think it is called Manage Yourself. I can't remember who it's by. Uh, and it's not that long of a book. I believe that I listened to the audio, and it, was, it had to have been under an hour. Um, or Managing Oneself, or, or something like that. It was a good book. I picked up a lot of tips on there. But you should also manage your, you know, your workload, the things that you do on a daily basis, and not directly tied to work, um, a workload could be anything, and I mean that in the most general of terms. So it could be your day-to-day -day activities, like vlogs and working out for me as a part of my daily activities. Um, whenever I do have to work the five days out of the week, I try to uh, manage my time a little bit more carefully and get things done before I have to go to work. But if I wasn't conscientious of that, then sometimes things don't get done, like Sundays. Sundays I typically don't post a vlog because I just don't have a chance to. I do my workout in the morning, have to go to work um, a couple hours after I just got off shift, and then by the time I get up, I'm just exhausted, and I don't want to present myself in an exhausted form. Plus, I still need to uh, a lot time and manage my time wisely to be able to spend time with my family um, on Sundays. I do hold that as a traditional family spending day, even if I do have to work do or don't, I try to spend time with families uh, on Sundays. It's uh, very big and very important to me. But if I don't manage my workload, sometimes things go um, unnoticed. They go undone, and that's no no way to, to manage yourself. And if we're all independent managers of ourselves, um, eventually some people become managers of other people's lives within the workplace or within the uh, your organization and sometimes in the military that dabbles on into their personal life when you have to do uh, let's say a home inspection to make sure that your soldiers are living in adequate and comfortable quarters um, that are um, safe that are a safe environment for, for them so um, the managers are built within each and every one of us once you learn how to do it well I suggest you start doing it for other people and sharing that knowledge with other people. And some people are going to be reluctant to hear you out. They're just not going to want to hear anything you have to say, and that's fine. If the, some people are just, um, they're happy where they're at, and they're happy with the way that their day's going. They don't want it any fuller than it has to be, and they appreciate their free time. I know people that love their free time, and so they don't fill their days with too much of activity, so they can enjoy their free time and their off time. I have a different mindset that the more you produce, the more outcome you have. So the more I fill my day with stuff and obstacles, not only do I sleep better because I'm physically and mentally exhausted, but I believe in the outcome that comes of that, whether it be pay, time, family time, um, or a couple other different things that get come from different outcomes of you making an investment into a particular thing. Um, like for me, these videos I don't necessarily do for pay. Um, I do them because I like to do them and I want to get information out to the masses. Um, so that's one of those things that as people watch my videos, I, I feel a sense of gratitude. But it, it takes me making these videos on, on at least posting an average of one per day to have that type of effect for people to see it and I have to promote it, and a lot of work goes into it. But um, there's a lot of other good things that can come from it. But you have to stay on top of your workload. You have to manage your day effectively in order to be effective. And I'll say that again. Manage your day effective, 
effectively in order to be effective. Because if you can't be effective in managing yourself, you will never have the opportunity to manage other people effectively. And sometimes you'll be thrown into that role. Like if your supervisor doesn't show up for shift, um, or you're the next person in charge, and there's just your even if your supervisor does show up, but they get called to do something else, and they have to put a person in charge for that time being. And guess what? You're it. Um, you'll be thrown into that management position, uh, whether you like it or not. Um, sometimes it's based off sen seniority. And you just have to be prepared for that. I believe there's a manager inside of every one of us, and you have to identify with that person. If you don't realize that you're already managing yourself on a day-to-day -day basis, then realize it and appreciate it. And know that you're good at it if you can get from one week to the next um, with minimal uh, uh, with minimal bad occurrences or minimal things is, uh, that go wrong. Then you're effectively managing. So see that within yourself and try to manage your workload as best as you can and as as you see fit. Again, everything ties back to what makes you happy. So if you enjoy more free time, then ensure that you manage some free time into your schedule. If you are unhappy with the way you look, then manage some workout time into your schedule. And managing your workload would just make your life a little bit easier if you plan a couple of things out. And some people just are oblivious to planning. They like to go with the flow, and that's okay too. Just make sure that you're getting things done in a way that you see fit and that makes you happy. And that way you will consistently be happy with the things that you accomplish. And when you set new goals and you tackle those goals, you'll be happy with the outcome. So That'll be it for this last vlog for today. I appreciate you guys watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, all of the alike. And I will see you guys on the next one.